hello guys welcome to the dms online school i am excited in this video because in this video i'm going to review to you the 2023 science paper one internal prediction dms okay so this is the long awaited prediction that i'm going now to present to you thank you for being patient and also for being subscribers for the dms online school i value your support and the comments you make and also the likes that you make i value them if at all you haven't yet subscribed please consider clicking on the red subscribe button below because it will mean a lot all right so into this video i'm going to present to you just as i've said the 2023 SAS paper one internal prediction all right so the topic which are in this uh, prediction have been considered to have high probability of being in this year's examination all right so we will start with the first topic in science or physics which is um general physics you see it has been written in red and it has key at the end of it so which means that this topic is a key topic in it science paper one exam it does not miss and then the subtopic under here that are considered to be in the this year's exam are number one length and time the number two mass and weight all right so these are the topics that are considered to be in this year's examination all right then we move the next topic is mechanics in physics for science paper one and it is written in red and also it has key at the end of it meaning it is a key topic which does not miss in science paper one exam all right so the subtopic under mechanics uh number one linear motion linear motion is a key topic it does not miss in science paper one the number two forces forces are key topics does not miss in science paper one the next moment of full forces, this subtopic also does not miss any science paper one. Then we move to also weak energy and power. So this also does not does not miss any paper one. Okay, the next simple machines, these also do not miss in science paper one. Okay, so these you have to go there expecting them to be there all right so let's proceed next we go to thermal physics so you see it has been written in green and at the end of it it has high probability which means that this topic is not a key topic but it has high probability of being in this csc exam uh, considering that it did not come in the gce exam for this year okay so the subtopic under this one are one expansion of solids liquids and the gases the number two heat transfer by conduction convection and the radiation all right then we move on to another topic which is in wave motion so wave motion also is written in a green but at the end of it it has high probability written so now this topic has got a high probability of being in GCSE examination because in the GCE, the recent GCE exam did not contain questions on waves, especially from paper, I mean from section B and section E see so in this year you expect this to be there all right so the topics under here are simple ideas of wave motion theory so we move to another topic which is light so light also is written in um, green all right so at the end of it high probability but this one also is supposed to be a key topic though i didn't name it that way because in in, in last year's exam it was there and also in this year's last ended gce exam it was also there but however it is in high probability of also being there in this year's exam okay so under light what is expected is electrinia propagation of light and also you expect lessons also to be present under light if questions will come on light then they have to feature from electrinia propagation of light and the lenses okay then the next we move to static electricity so static electricity is a topic with high probability also it is in green meaning that it is not a key topic so it is in green meaning in this year's exam you expect questions to be there because in the last ended gce exam there was no question from uh, static electricity the next we move to current electricity at the end of it it has key and it is written in red meaning that this is a key topic which does not miss in the examination each and every exam that has ever come for science paper one of physics it has always been there then the subtopic which comes is actually 
under electric charge, current, and potential difference. So this is a combination of uh, some subtopics here. All right, so next we look at um, electromagnetic induction, which has also high probability of coming in this year's uh, science paper one for internals, okay? So why yeah, does it have high probability? Yeah, because it hasn't been coming always, okay? So though in last year's, I mean in the end of the GCE exam, it happened to come under AC generators, it still have got the other topics which did not appear, especially from section B and then section C, like transformers did not come and other also, uh, concepts here so like the subtopic that are considered to be there is like a dc generator and also the transformer so these have got a high probability of being there so you have just to look at it, these okay then next we move to basic electronics which has also high probability written in green meaning that it is not a key topic but it has high probability of being in this ESC exam because it was not there in the last ended GC exam and also in the 2022 either internal candidates exam or GC candidates exam so you expect it to be there in this ESC examinations for internal cadence so you need to revise on those questions only electronic key all right then we move on to okay the subtopic here actually is a fermionic emission and the electrons all right then we move on to the other topic which is atomic physics which is the last topic actually it is also a key topic here because it is written in red and then it has key at the end of it and this topic here does not miss in each and every exam for science paper one no, or physics all right so it comes every year either in internal candidates exams or in uh, or gce uh, candidates exams it is always there so you expect the questions to be there from atomic physics so the subtopic here is actually nuclear atom and then a radio activity all right so guys we have come to the end of this video but i have good news for you you see i have quite well outlined the topics that are expected to come in these ex exams but you don't know actually how questions come from each and every topic there this is why i have a revision package which contains all the questions that have ever come from each and every topic in science paper one i have because i have the past paper as far back as 2001 okay i have past papers as far as 2001 one up to 2023 up to date so i know each and every question which comes on these topics that i've outlined here so and i've created a revision package where i have revised these questions under each and every topic let's say we are talking of physics like which topic let's say we are talking of um, electricity yeah let's talk of electricity so or rather electronics yeah I've picked all the questions that have ever come on electronics, put them together and revise, then move to the other topic. Let's say simple machines. I pick all the questions that have ever come on simple machines, put them together and revise. Move on to another topic, let's say magnetism. All the topics that have ever come on magnetism, put them together and revise. Why is this important? Because it is going to make you understand how to answer each and every question on each and every topic that has ever come which is going to make you know how questions are said on each and every topic of the exam so you have to take this opportunity if you are someone who is behind who wants to to get a distinction in science or write science as though it is a revision you just need to join and the amount is 120 kwacha to pay and this is the number that you pay so you can call or whatsapp me on it for your revision package okay so there are two packages that i have one for past paper only that i've revised past papers from 2015 to 2022 then another one is the one which is a topical revision which i recommend everyone to pay for it is going at 120 kwacha only you know 120 kwacha is a small amount and you can finish it if it is it means blowing it out in a day it can be blown in just one minute 
one hour but the knowledge that you are going to acquire from it is going to last forever so i encourage you guys to take this opportunity to get the revision package at 120 kwacha the benefit of doing this are very very huge and you are not going to regret once you do this all right so guys i wish you all the best in your coming sans paper one exam and please consider buying the revision package so that you revise very well i wish you all the best as for now bye and see you in the other revision peace